In this video, we'll be looking at how to officially determine whether a number is an outlier within a set of data. You may recall that in a previous video, we looked at the ages of people in a classroom and determined if we add the teacher's age, this is an outlier because the number stands out amongst the other ages. But how can we be sure that this is an outlier? As a rule of thumb, our value is in an acceptable range and is not an outlier if it is less than or equal to the upper quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range and if it is greater than or equal to the lower quartile minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Let's find our quartiles and interquartile range. To find the quartiles, we first need to locate the middle of our data after making sure our numbers are arranged in order. The lower quartile is the median of the lower half of the values, the average of 9 and 10. Q1, the lower quartile, is equal to 9.5. The upper quartile is the median of the upper half of the values, the average of 11 and 12. The upper quartile, Q3, is equal to 11.5. We also need the interquartile range, the difference between the upper and lower quartiles. Interquartile range, IQR, is equal to 11.5 minus 9.5. The interquartile range is equal to 2. Our acceptable range in this example is less than 11.5 plus 1.5 times 2. It is also greater than 9.5 minus 1.5 times 2. Our acceptable range lies between 6.5 and 14.5. This means that anyone outside of this range is an outlier. Since the teacher is 36 years old, much older than 14.5 years old, she is definitely an outlier. A child less than 6.5 years old would have also been an outlier in this group. Here's a summary of what we've learned. To determine our outliers, we use the 1.5 IQR rule. Large outliers are higher than the upper quartile plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Small outliers are less than the lower quartile minus 1.5 times the interquartile range.